Now we're gonna look at building a Docker image. So we've been getting these images from the Docker Hub and other people have created them. So what if we wanna create our own image and spin up a container from it? That's what we're going to look at how to do now. And we're gonna kind of follow closely what the Docker docs have provided as an example. So what I'm gonna do is make a directory. So it's gonna be make directory command and then we're gonna do my Docker build. So I'll change into that folder. And I'm in there now. And what I want to do next is create a Docker file. So to do that, I can start off with a touch Docker. Actually, I'm gonna do Docker file and hit enter. So if I list what's in our folder right now, you can see we have the Docker file there. To open it, all I need to do is open dash E then our file. And I'm just tabbing to get the spelling of the Docker file without having to type it all in. And I'm gonna open this up now and bring up an editor. So here I am in the editor. So this is gonna be a Docker file. This is basically the template for an image. It's telling Docker what all you want to go inside of your Docker file that creates a, an image. So here's a few things we're gonna do. We're gonna keep working with this well say document. We're gonna have it print something out without us having to give it a parameter of what we want it to say. So we're gonna do a modification on it. So for that, I am gonna do a from, then it's gonna be docker well see or well say latest. Next, we're going to add a command for run apt get dash y update two ampersands then we're going to have apt get install dash y fortunes fortunes is another program that just brings back different kinds of quotes so it's going to supply a quote to the well say application and make it print that out all right, so if we look at what we have here with this from, we're actually saying we're gonna use this well say as a template. That's what our image is gonna be based on. And we're gonna install this fortunes program into it. That's what this apt git is doing. And then we need a final line here, CMD, and we're gonna do user games fortune dash a pipe cal say. So remember, CalSay is actually a program in the well C image that we had. So when we spin up that container, CalSay runs inside of the container for the well C image. So now we're saying run fortune and it's going to use CalSay. So it's going to supply the parameters to CalSay. So now I'm going to bring our terminal window up next to this so we can see what's going on. All right, so here's our terminal. Just going to go ahead and stretch that out a little bit. Now we can see both of these. And I'm gonna go ahead and save our Docker file. Now inside the terminal, I'm gonna do cat docker file. And there we can see everything is in place, but we're not yet done. So I'm gonna do a quick clear. What we need to do is build this image. So we've got the Docker file. We actually build off the Docker file that's gonna create the image. So we're gonna do docker build dash T docker well space period. Let that run and you can see here what's happening now. Okay, so that is done. So we have our build ready to roll. And let's see if we scroll through here, there's quite a bit going on. And let's see right here, sending context to Docker daemon from, so you can see our commands are executing. Here's our other command that's executing as well. So it's gonna continue executing those commands, making sure Docker's gonna make sure it has everything it needs to build this uh, image properly. And up here where it's executing our command, so this, 
this apt git is actually a package manager so it's going out there getting that fortunes program and bringing it back and installing and if we scroll to the bottom we should be ready to go ahead and run our new program at this point so let's see what we have if we actually have this image so I'm going to do a docker images and there's docker well there's docker well say so this is the one we created and you can see about a minute ago here's the size of it 274 here's the original 247 so we've added a little bit more to it with that fortunes program and let's go ahead and run this so we're going to do our docker command our run command so we know we're getting ready to type in an image name and execute a container off of it so i'm going to do well and run so it looks like we have an issue with our fortunes program and i think that might be related to maybe what happened here let's see did we have any more issues i think that was it so let me see we're going to look at our commands and make sure they are all okay cmd user games fortune maybe something to do with this path right here is why it's not working quite right so we have our dash a so what i'm going to do is go ahead and delete it and we'll see if we can get another rebuild on that so we have docker well let's see it's running so docker well container is referenced in image so it is running we're just going to go ahead and remove that image actually that container out of memory then we can delete our image see we need this id for the container so let's try that that takes care of it now we can try and get rid of the image that works so now what we need to do is just re-execute our build command which we have in here right there and let's see make sure there's not an issue with how i typed it in okay that looks fine so i'll let that run again right that finished let's see we have our output for fortune up here and let's see if there's any issues that went on the following new packages will be installed fortune zero upgraded four newly installed that all seems fine so if we docker images and there's our image and let's try and run it docker well so the issue is in fact where where this directory is located so instead of that directory what i can do is just install to a different directory so if i look at where this is my root directory so i'm going to go back into this docker folder we have it's actually my docker build ls so let's see if I try and just put it in here that will probably work so I can just do something like this I believe or like that and save all right let's go back to our build actually we're going to remove this first so we need to get it out of memory RMI or RM and let's see docker well get the ID of our container so I'll try and remove it and then it'll give us this error so I'll try and remove it it'll give us this error I'm going to highlight this ID here and do docker RM that ID now we can do RMI that takes care of it now we can build so let's go back to our build command So I'm just going to do a docker build dash t docker well period. All right, let's see if we get through this without any issues. Looks like it is still having a problem with the folder name. So I'm going to see if what the error will be here. And fortunes is not found. I've gone ahead and cleared the terminal and I can see an issue here with what we've got on fortune so there is no s it's just fortune 
And earlier we had a path like this. I think it would be better since we're on Linux to do this. So take the E out and prepend a slash and save. And I need a slash here. I think this will then allow that path to be created in the container. So this is getting created in the container that we're working with. So I'm going to look for our image and we have Docker well. See if anything is running on it. So I'm going to do a PSA and we have Docker well. So I will grab the ID and remove it so we can get this container out. So we'll do a Docker RM ID. Then we'll do a Docker RMI, Docker well, and remove it and start over. So back to our build commands. We have build here. So I'm going to go ahead and execute this again. So this time, fairly quick execution. So let me go ahead and run Docker well. And there we go. So that seems to be the problem. Um, just have to make sure the path is correct. I think the main problem here is this prepended slash, and then that will allow this container to execute. So what we've done, we've updated the container we had for Docker Wellz, and this container now has fortunes, which is actually feeding the parameter and then outputting its text here. So anytime we do a Docker run, and I can just go ahead and do this, we get a different quote. Because we don't need the parameter, but it's Fortunes is supplying different quotes for us. And if we do a Docker PSA, we can see we've got Docker well, Docker wells. So two containers running for that one.